Hey guys, here we are at our lovely frog. So, first thing you need to notice is our hands have gloves on them, so that's really important. Now, we have our UV light on top here. In the mornings, we're gonna have to turn it on, and at night, at the end of the shift, we'll turn it off. See this little switch here? Boom, boom. So, we're gonna turn it off while we take it off the enclosure. We'll just set it nice to the side. Now, we have two clamps. So these clamps you pinch forward and they slide off, both of them. You'll set those down over here. We're removing the lid, we'll lean this up, up against here. So it's important to note that the water temperature can be read here. It's about 80 degrees. It's a little cooler than that. So we have our frog right here in the water. He's Jay chilling. As you can see, he's not gigantic. So that's really important to note. When okay guys, sorry, my phone cut off. So I'm using Lindsay's. Here's our frog. Now you can see it's a small frog. So he's a little unsure about people. So don't get your hands up in his face. Makes him uncomfortable. The gloves are important just to keep all the different chemicals on our hands out of here. So his size also has to do with the cricket size we're gonna pick for him. So we're working on mixing up his diet a bit, but for right now, crickets is his main staple. Um, we're gonna give him two crickets every PM shift. Now, if he has more than one cricket in there, don't add any more. If he has one, add a second one. So he always has two available to him. Uh, so we'll look for those. Now, if you see that the cricket has gone down the side here, catch it and make sure you block it with this piece of moss here. So we're gonna remove everything. We'll lift this right up and out. Set that down on the ground. We're gonna pull the piece of mulch out, or moss rather. Set that aside. And we're also gonna do that with the hide. Now it's important to look in all the creases of the hide because that's where crickets like to chill. Now I'm not seeing any crickets, so it'll be important that we add two more crickets. Now before we can add crickets, we've got a mist. So we'll take our DI water bottle only. Oh, there you go, you can read it now. And we're gonna spray all the walls. See the walls getting nice and sprayed? Oh yeah. You can spray the leaves here. Frogs underwater, he doesn't care. So we're gonna spray the soil, get that nice and wet on top, and then we're gonna stir it. So we're gonna stir it all the way to the bottom. So that means down a few inches. Uh, we're gonna move it all around, make sure that that's well, well stirred uh, all the way through. Um, and then we're gonna continue misting it. So we wanna make sure that's real good, real good. Okay, so one of the key pieces is this piece of wood right here. So we're gonna wanna place that in here, but it's important for his little platform. So I'm setting the platform back out here, and we're gonna take this and we're gonna put it around, yay, right there in the, the soil right here before his water dish. So a few inches out, so that when we set the platform right here, sorry, you can see that the back is gonna rest on it nice and firm no wobbling and then the front of his his little dock will be in the water so that he can climb out we want him to be able to get out of the water um we can add our cricket real quick so about that big small crickets um and you can add them right onto the leaves in the water they'll work the way out uh, but the frog will eat them yeah and you'll seal it back up you'll do both of the clamps and you'll be done with the frog. Uh, water changes will be done by team lead for herbs. Thank you guys.